Good evening, this is Tina. How are, how is your day? Um, I don't have time to do a version about other two shopping cart, display shopping cart and delete from shopping cart while using the vanilla MongoDB that API. Okay, and uh, uh, I'm gonna do a version only using mongoose. The logic is the same. Mongoose can only help us a lot, you know. It can only help us for the basic crowd operations. But for adding to shopping cart, you still will are using the same logic as you do before. Okay. So here, first let's uh, talk about what is mongoose. Why do we need to mo use mongoose, right? Uh, Mongoose is also it's also an open source uh, module, uh, which is uh, you can download on inside the, the. You can also download uh, in the MP npm js, and that's a repository. And uh, so previously we what do we if we want to save some information into into a database, what do we did before. What we did probably we can we do one version is using like this right bb dot collection. If we're using vanilla API, then here suppose it's a products right. We just give a products name here. Then we are using insert one right, and in the insert we will give the document right, and then it will return the promise. Then you can using then, and they can using resolve. Correct. Okay. Right now, uh, here I have product, which is title. Title is yes, product is a book, and uh, you're gonna have a price. Book is double quote. Okay. Price is a forty, and image you are everything. This is what we did, right? And uh, think about if we have a pro, if we have a. Uh, what's the thing? If we have we have a large web application, and uh, for every product uh, we have to do a CRUD operation, and also for like a user we also need to do the CRUD operation like uh, sign up. Okay, user can sign up, user can uh, go edit that profile, and uh, this piece of code will be repeated in every model right and not only for insert also for the update and for the find by id get all and all of them we have to repeat in every model right so another thing is uh, here when we work with when we're using insert insert here the insert here is uh, directly is a document right here is a document which is gonna be exactly this this piece of information can be saved into the database. And uh, Mongoose here, Mongoose can do the thing is, first, it when we're using Mongoose, for the basic operation, like uh, update, find by ID, uh, save, uh, uh, find, uh, find by ID and uh, delete, all the things are also done by Mongoose. And do you remember another thing? Now, when we're using find, suppose we are using find by ID, uh, the product, okay? Uh, here, the product ID we pass here is a string value, right? It's a string value for this one. But when we're using the find method here, we have to turn in, we have to turn to be an object ID type, right? And here we'll give a product ID, okay? Like this, right? And with your mongoose, it will automatically handle for us. You don't need to manually convert this one. And last one is yes, this one. Um, previously, we have to turn into an object, and now we can do yes. We can using uh, we can using new like a product. Then here in the product, we can give mongoose schema. Then we can directly call the same method. We don't need to work with the object. Mongo mongoose is to do a mapping. What's a mapping? Mon mongoose is to do a mapping. What's a mapping? Object and the document mapping. Okay. So 
In our database, we store document, right? But inside the, our application, we actually using pro object like a product. We define a class, right? Product. If we want to work with user, we will create another class user and also has a constructor. So in our uh, application, we are using object. Okay. So but. Uh, when we're trying to using vanilla uh, API, MongoDB API, we have to convert a document object into a document, then to store in a database, right? With Mongoose, you in your code, you don't need to convert, you don't need to do, you don't need to do this conversion. You just work on your object. Mongoose will automatically convert your object into a document and be able to save into a database. This is this uh, Mong Mongoose doing. Mongoose is doing this conversion, this part. And in your code, you work with object, Mongoose will convert to be a document for you. And when we retrieve a data, whatever we retrieve from a database is going to be documents. And Mongoose will automatically convert into an object for you. This is a mongoose doing, okay? The other is inside the mongoose, it provides lots of convenient methods like find by ID and remove, find by ID and delete, find by ID, find one, find, save. Save method can also do an update. All those convenience methods for you. So that's it for this mongoose introduction. And uh, some people are very familiar with uh, like Java and uh, you probably heard uh, Hibernate or OpenLink or MyBetis, Abetis. Those are all do the OIM mapping object, relational mapping, okay. Uh, a mongoose is doing object document mapping, okay. Uh, that's it for this uh, mongoose introduction and uh, next video we're gonna do is uh, previously in our online shopping okay this online shopping the model here the model here we are using <coughs> we are using this uh, mongodb right we are not, not now we don't using this one instead we are gonna using mongoose okay that's what we're gonna do and uh, we will first finish all the operations about the uh, add product, uh, edit product, uh, and uh, display all the things. Then if we still have time, we will make uh, also the changes for the, what's the, uh, for the shopping cart, okay? We will design how to store our uh, shopping cart, okay? So that's it for this video. And uh, if you are interested, and uh, take a look at my other videos. Thank you. Bye-bye.